Clipping masks in Illustrator is one of my favorite subjects to discuss, said no one ever. But still, it's very important to know how they work, because sometimes you just want to put some artwork inside a shape. So I downloaded this vector pattern and this raster image from the links in the description. We're going to start with this pattern. Let's say you want it to be visible inside a circle. So create a circle using the ellipse tool. Doesn't matter what fill and stroke colors you give it. And make sure the circle is on top of the pattern. If it's not, then simply right click on it, go to arrange and click bring to front. With the selection tool, move the circle exactly where you want it to be. Select both the circle and the pattern, right click and choose make clipping mask or simply press control or command seven to create it. Great. So now we're clipping the artwork, which is the pattern, to the shape of the mask, which in this case is just a circle. And by the way, only vector objects can be clipping masks. The circle here is a vector object, and it can be any shape you create, as long as it's vector. The masked artwork, however, doesn't need to be a vector shape. This image is not vector. Let's create a custom shape using the pen tool. Make sure it's on top. Select both objects, Control or Command 7. And there you have it. Now you can still move the mask and the artwork independently. With the selection tool, if you double click on this object, you'll enter isolation mode and you can move the artwork independently. Double click on it again to reveal the whole artwork. Double click outside to exit isolation mode. And to move the mask without the artwork, activate the group selection tool, hover over the edge of the shape and then click and drag to move it around. Or go to the layers panel Find the clipping path, click here to select it, and then you can move it around with the selection tool. To make edits to the mask, activate the direct selection tool, click to select an anchor point, and then make edits to it. Now, what if you want to add another object to this masked artwork? Like for example, what if you want this circle to also appear inside the mask? Well, one way is to simply go to the layers panel, drag this object, and drop it inside the clipping mask. And I'll make sure it's on top of the image layer so we can actually see it. And finally, to release objects from a clipping mask, select the group of objects with the selection tool, right click and choose release clipping mask. And that's it. This is how you create clipping masks in Illustrator. But how do you create this? Well, this is another kind of mask called opacity mask. And we'll talk about it in another video.